Hey, what's going on? It's Adam. Welcome to my kitchen. And today we're going to do some baking. We're going to make some lemon poppy seed cookies. Now, my mom gave me this recipe and it was found in a recipe box that my grandmother on my dad's side had. So super easy, only a few ingredients. They taste delicious. Of course, that's the most important part. Well, being easy to make, that's also important. So uh, let's get baking. Here are all the ingredients that you need. Again, really, really easy. You need some oil, some sugar, some baking powder, salt, two eggs, some flour, of course, poppy seeds, and the juice of half a lemon. First, I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. And I have a baking sheet which is lined with parchment paper. In this bowl, I have two cups of flour and I'm going to be adding two teaspoons of baking powder and one eighth teaspoon of salt. So put that in and I'm just gonna combine it very delicately. So you wanna work this as little as possible and of course the flour would go all over the place. So in this larger bowl, we are going to combine one half cup of oil. We're gonna do one half cup of sugar. And now we're just going to mix it on medium speed. All right, so now we're gonna add the eggs one at a time. One egg. Egg number two. And now we are going to mix Lemon juice and half a lemon. All right, so now that we have our oil, sugar, eggs, and juice of half of a lemon combined, we are going to add our flour mixture. So we're gonna put the mixer on a low speed, of course, so it'll, first of all, it'll stir it, and then also so the flour does not end up all over the place. So here we go. Better to do a little at a time. It gets a little sticky, so it gets stuck on the uh, beaters a little bit. So you just want to whip that up. So you just want to mix it until welcome, until uh, until just combined. So let's get off all this stuff on the beaters. I got to I think that's the easiest way to do it. All right, so now what we want to do is first we get a rubber spatula and we want to do our poppy seeds. So we're going to do one and a half tablespoons of poppy seeds. So there's one and now a half. And you can find poppy seeds in any supermarket. All right, so now that those are combined, I'm just gonna try to take some off of the spatula here. Of course, it's flying all over the place, but I guess it really wouldn't be baking unless you made a mess. Well. At least I think so. All right, so that's fine. All right, so we're gonna put this on the side over here. Now what we're going to do is just mix in the 
poppy seeds by hand. Because we don't want to work the dough too much, but just as long as everything is combined, then we're good to go. Make sure our, all the poppy seeds get into the dough. All right, well, see, that was easy. That was it. That's the whole, that is really the whole thing. And now we have our dough with our poppy seeds. Next, we're gonna roll them into balls and put them in the oven. Now with the dough, you're gonna make little balls, less than a teaspoon size or so. And you may wanna wet your hands because the dough can be a little bit sticky and wetting your hands with water will help from keeping the dough sticking to your hands. So let's roll some balls. All right, we have our cookie sheet lined with cookies and there's still some dough left. So I'll make a second batch later. Now, time to put them in the oven. So we're gonna put them in the 350 degree oven. And they're gonna stay in there for about 25 minutes until the bottom of them are a nice golden brown. All right, so it's been about 20, 25 minutes or so. Let's take a look. Ooh, yum. Bring them over here, close the oven. Now what we're gonna do is put them on a cooling tray. Let's see the little bottoms of them. Oh yeah, that looks good. And parchment paper really makes it so much easier. So now what we're gonna do is just put them on a cooling rack. Oops, let them cool. And there you have your poppy seed cookies. Mmm, yum. Enjoy.